China an all-weather ally of Pakistan, has been the main supplier of arms and defense equipment to Islamabad's ambitious military modernization program. As Pakistan's relationship has soured with the United States in the past two decades, Pakistan's armed forces have largely looked towards Chinese suppliers for equipment. While China has long supplied Pakistan's armed forces, the relationship has deepened in recent years, with Pakistan making major purchases of top-of-the-line Chinese export equipment. In a tit-for-tat Indian Ocean arms race with China prominently in the middle, Pakistan has recently launched its first hangar-class submarine while India has tested a next-generation anti-submarine warfare weapon to target siege vessels. Pakistan's new submarine, the product of a project signed with China Shipbuilding and Offshore International Company Limited. During President Xi Jinping's visit to Islamabad in April 2015, will feature state-of-the-art weapons and sensors to engage targets at standoff ranges. China has been arming the Pakistani military with its top-of-the-line weapons in a bid to contain India. Beijing has aided Islamabad with fighter aircraft, submarines, naval warships, air defense systems and other military equipment. It's true that China can sell many types of long-range precision ordnance. It looks like its state-owned companies have free reign to export ballistic missiles and cruise missiles and everything in between. The Indian Air Force is working to deploy its brand new S-400 air defense system, acquired from Russia. Hindustan Times recently reported that the first Indian S-400 unit would be operational in April and would be deployed in depth areas to tackle the threat from China. The Indian Air Force has previously described the S-400 as a game-changer given the air defense system's advanced senses and array of missiles. The S-400 uses four types of surface-to-air missiles, with ranges from 40 km to 400 km. The missiles can shoot down multiple types of targets such as aircraft, cruise missiles, bombs and some types of ballistic missiles. The versatility of the S-400 has meant that Pakistan has considered its acquisition by India as a threat, as the system can shoot down aircraft even in Pakistani airspace. Last week, a leading military analyst claimed that China could now equip Pakistan with hypersonic weapons which could evade India's latest acquisition the S-400 air defense system. One of the options available for Beijing is to either sell the DF-17 to Pakistan directly or transfer technology and assist it in developing a similar system. China has tested its hypersonic missiles on more than one occasion. Last year, a Chinese hypersonic missile went around the world. Even though it missed its target by a few kilometers, this was the first time ever that a hypersonic missile covered the entire length of the globe. Additionally, in a shocking revelation, it was informed that the glide vehicle fired a submunition in the South China Sea in the test. A hypersonic weapon carries a glide vehicle that is installed atop a ballistic missile. It is launched into the upper atmosphere and glides the weapon to its target. The Chinese DF-17 has a range of around 2,500 kilometers and travels at speeds of between 5 and 10 times the speed of sound. The DF-17 is believed to have been commissioned by the Chinese military. China's hypersonic capabilities have only grown with the country's expert and scientific community making frequent announcements related to the significant strides that the program was taking. In that sense, it could be assumed that China does remain in the position to arm its closest ally with hypersonic missiles to override the capabilities of S-400. An expert on China's military told Defense News last week that Beijing could allow Pakistan access to hypersonic weapons to counter the S-400. Hypersonic weapons, which fly at over five times the speed of sound, are difficult for most radars to track and existing surface-to-air missiles to engage. Richard D. Fisher is a senior fellow at the International Assessment and Strategy Center. He has testified in the U.S. Congress about China's military advances and written extensively on Beijing's armed forces. He told Defense News. It is very likely that. To the degree that China has aided North Korea's new hypersonic glide vehicle missile warhead. It has or will similarly assist a Pakistani hypersonic glide vehicle, or simply sell the DF-17 or Beijing now has the option of allowing North Korea to sell its hypersonic glide vehicle to Pakistan. A hypersonic glide vehicle is a type of hypersonic weapon that is mounted on a ballistic missile and released in the upper atmosphere, after which it glides to its target. According to U.S. intelligence estimates, 
The DF-17 has a range of around 2,500 km and moves at between 5 and 10 times the speed of sound. The Chinese military is believed to have inducted the DF-17 into service. As Pakistan's relationship has soured with the United States in the past two decades, Pakistan's armed forces have largely looked towards Chinese suppliers for equipment. While China has long supplied Pakistan's armed forces, the relationship has deepened in recent years with Pakistan making major purchases of top-of-the-line Chinese export equipment. The United States is imposing sanctions on three China-based companies that it said on Friday have worked to supply missile-applicable items to Pakistan's ballistic missile program. Pakistan criticized the United States on Saturday for penalizing four international companies on charges they're aiding its ballistic missile program. Pakistan rejects political use of export controls. The reaction came a day after Washington imposed sanctions on three Chinese companies and one Belarus-based firm for their alleged links to Islamabad's missile development program. The US identified the alleged suppliers to Islamabad's ballistic missile program. As China-based Xi'an Longdae Technology Development Company Limited, Tianjin Creative Source International Trade County Limited, Granpec Company Limited, and Belarus-based Minsk Wheel Tractor Plant. Under the U.S. executive order, all assets, properties and interests in properties of the sanctioned companies located within the United States or controlled by U.S. citizens must be blocked and reported to the Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control. The listing makes it illegal for any individual or entity within the United States or any U.S. citizen to engage in any transactions involving property or interests in property of designated or blocked companies unless authorized by a specific or general license issued by OFAC or exempted. Without naming the US or any other country, Balak stated that the same jurisdictions claiming strict adherence to the non-proliferation of weapons and military technologies would sometimes make exceptions for some countries and have even waived licensing requirements to help them obtain advanced military equipment. Balik was apparently referring to Washington's close military and nuclear cooperation with Pakistan's arch-rival India. The nuclear-armed South Asian neighbors have fought three wars. And their decades-old territorial dispute over the divided Kashmir region remains the primary source of mutual tensions.